Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our bunny place card. I've got all my pieces cut out in front of me. Now, uh, we actually redid this file to include a version, and you'll find this in your extras folder uh, with the bunny with the full ear. Initially, when this was designed, uh, we wanted to make it quick and uh, use less paper because we knew this was going to be mass produced. Uh, but there were a few people that commented that they kind of wished that the bunny had full ears here. So uh, we included that. So we're going to have a version one, and that's the one that's already on the site. This is going to be version two of the assembly. Okay, so what we're going to do is, and of course, this piece here is the piece that you can use. Uh, you can do a print and cut on this. Um, I actually just used my machine and I had it write the name out. So that's always an option. This is gonna get glued right onto this piece here. So what we're actually gonna do is apply glue to the face of this section. Uh, since this part is still cut off up here, we don't wanna put glue on the other section here that we're gluing on top of it because we're, we're gonna end up with some glue uh, in spots up here by the ear where we don't need glue. So we'll avoid doing that, okay? And we're just gonna line this up with what I'll call the, the shadow that's behind there. And just make sure that you get it all the way up onto the ears. Okay, the ears are somewhat independent. So just make sure that you get them nice and aligned. You can press that down flat on your table. Okay, so there we go. We've got the nice ears now. And next, what we wanna do is we're gonna apply some glue just to the head above the score mark and we're gonna glue the two heads together so that we don't see two versions of the, or two sides of the head. We just want the body and the feet to be free flowing because those need to spread apart so this thing will stand up. Okay, so you can fold it here like so, press down the head, beautiful. And of course we have a little heart for the nose and we just need a tiny little drop of glue on that. And we do have a series of little markers right here to help you with the placement of this piece. It's pretty small. If you want to use a little pick-me-up tool to help move that, I just grabbed the first thing I could find with a, with a point on it so I can really get it where it needs to be. There we go. There's our beautiful nose. And just like we did the first time around, we got to build a little bow here. Now, this part here is gonna get glued just above the little score mark there. Okay, so all we wanna do is put a little bit of glue right on this straight piece, this long rectangle, I guess you could call it, like so. And that's gonna get, again, glued above the score mark because we don't want to prevent it from folding properly or the legs spreading out, I should say. Okay, that looks great. And to construct our bow, what you wanna do, you'll notice that there's a little square in the center. It's like a, rec actually it's more of a rectangle. And we have two little rectangular tabs at the end of each of the loops. What I'm gonna do is flip it over and starting from the inside, place a dowel, a nice skinny dowel between your finger and the loop, lift up the loop about 90 degrees and run it through a handful of times just to loosen up those fibers in there. So it's easier to bring this in to the center. Okay, we're gonna do that on the other side as well. Just like that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do, starting with one loop at a time, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on this small rectangle, very thin amount. We're gonna bring that rectangle and match it up with the rectangle in the center of the bow. Okay, and just hold that in place for a few seconds, let it set, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just a little dot of glue on the inside. Spread that out if you got too much on there and bring it in right on top of the little rectangle from the previous, or from the, the loop on the other side, and just hold that right in the center until you end up with a bow. Whoops, I let it go too soon. Don't do that, just be patient. 
and I may need to actually reapply my glue. And that's what happens. You rush it, you'll end up with issues like that, especially because um, there's a lot of resistance here because that, that loop, it's not completely flat. So those little fibers in the paper are trying to stiffen back out and be straight. There's re resistance right here at this curb. Okay, so that's gonna happen. And then finally, we have this little piece. And what we're gonna do is pop that right in the center of the bow, make sure it's centered, and then literally just take it and fold it back behind. Okay, and then we'll flip this over and then take a little bit of glue, place it on one end of that little center piece and fold it right onto the back of the bow and just hold that in place for a few seconds. And there we have our cute little bow. You can move that over to the center a little bit. And then finally, um, if you wanna use some hot glue, you can. We're gonna glue this all the way to the right-hand side of his little scarf. Okay, if you wanna use hot glue, you can. That would go a lot quicker, I think. But I'm just gonna use some regular glue. Okay, and pop that right into position, right at the very edge Try to keep it above that score mark ever so slightly. Make sure it's nice and centered. And there we have it. And then of course, if you saw the original version that I posted, uh, I found a beautiful little piece of bling that I added to the center of it, just like that. And I would use glue to hold that in place just because well, I mean, some of your stones, your rhinestones or your pearls may have an adhesive backing that is already built in. Personally, don't trust those. So definitely use some real glue to hold that in place and voila, beautiful. And there it goes. Okay, so that is what it's gonna look like. And there is our version two of our bunny with a full set of ears per your requests. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please visit us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our Bunny Trail bundle that we just released, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you again for hanging out with me. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again.